Hello again, this is Andrew Culkin, and I am uh, I, once again I'm the author of Amanda, A Cautionary Tale of Alcoholism. It was the story of my wife's 20 year decline with alcoholism and her passing away a little over three years ago. You know, today I wanted to talk about um, how society really deals with alcoholism, um, the mores, the cult culturally, um, a lot of, there's a lot of misconceptions and, and I don't think we're really treating a lot of alcoholics or people who are at risk of being an alcoholic uh, properly. So, you know, society needs to be educated on the true nature of alcoholism. There needs to be a less reactionary response to people who are, you know, struggling with the disease. There needs to be a better understanding of why alcoholics are acting the way they're acting. It's not necessarily a, um, you know, a character disease. I mean, it's not a. It's not. I mean, it's not. A person doesn't have a, a, a bad character necessarily. Um, it's because when a person has the inability to moderate their alcohol consumption, this should be seen more as a cry out for help, you know, rather than a time to judge and to ridicule. Um, alcoholics can cannot simply stop drinking. It's not how it works. Uh, it's. It's. I think it's. A way a lot of people would wish it would work just stop drinking and it goes away or to be demanding um, but these are all reactionary responses and it's it's you know it's, it equates to you know just just stop having you know why don't you just stop having cancer why don't you yeah why don't you just stop having cancer breast cancer why don't you just stop it it makes about as much sense although the person is you know no one's forcing the alcohol down their throat but you have to understand the activity that's involved is is the mental issue. Um, it's not a character flaw. Um, someone is chemically and physically uh, addicted. That's not going to go away by willing it away. Okay. Um, the person has to develop both a physical and mental addiction to alcohol. Ridicule, bullying, and intolerance will only fuel the flames of the one suffering from the addiction. Society needs to have a better understanding of what's actually taking place. In other words, they have to understand, you know, the mental illness side of it. Um, it's not something that uh, religion or uh, <laughs> is, is going to take it away. God willed me to do this. It's ridiculous. Um, or you know, you, you go say go to a confessional, and it's going to be it's going to go away. It's not the way it works, um, it's, and it's ridiculous. But people have to be less reactionary. My whole point of this is people have to be less reactionary and uh, more understanding of what's going on. People need help. Alcoholics need help, whether they have the ability to admit that or not. Um, that's what they need. Uh, if you have one in the family, it's time for an intervention. It's just time. I mean, I hope that helps. Hope that makes sense. Um, these are some issues that I definitely uh, want to expose in, in both the book and the coaching program is to change mores and, and have a better understanding uh, culturally of, of what's going on. You know, again, uh, Amanda Cautionary Tale, you can go to www.amandacautionarytale.com doing pre-orders and I have a coaching program come out there's a lot of pictures a lot of things at the website you can go through you know leave your email uh, get on pre-orders and uh, you know thanks again for listening and we'll talk to you again soon